bank update. Hey there, uh, my name is Joe and I do financing for a living. Now I don't work for a bank individually. Uh, I used to work for different type of financial firms uh, that dealt with giving money to customers. And then of course, uh, helping them make their payments and things of that nature. Now, this is mine, my checkbook. When you get a checkbook, they also give you um, a statement checkbook to go with it. Now, because it is easy to steal banking information and things like that on the internet, I will not be showing my statement book. Uh, but pretty much it is um, looks just like a checkbook, except for instead of checks, it's pieces of paper inside that says like location or what you know you write in the first spot where the payment was made, then you write in if it was a deposit or if you were spending the money. And then the last category is where you write the new total of the amount of money you have in your bank account. This is how uh, you keep up with what's in your money in your bank account and keep a record of uh, pretty much where you spend your money. Now this is important. Um, the schools don't teach us no more and I, I'm really sad that they don't because a lot of people that I had to help I had to show them how to use this little thing that the banks give you. In fact, they give them to you for free whenever you ask. Um, usually from one to three at a time. Uh, because this is your way, your legal right, to be able to keep up with uh, your statement. Now, when you receive your monthly statement, you're not supposed to look at it and look at what they post. And then I try to add the money up and say, hmm, let me see how this adds up and let me see if it adds up correctly. That's not the correct way to check your banking statement that you receive every month. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take their copy, place it next to your copy, and then you one by one check them off. In fact, your copy will have a little checkbox right next to each and every line so that when you can clarify um, and verify that is on the, their bank statement and your bank statement, you check them both off so you know uh, that there is no discrepancies. Now, um, it seems like here there was a computer glitch which wasn't showing all of your payments that um, you had made throughout the month. Um, however, this would have been easily noticeable when you compared their statement to your personal statement and you would have easily been able to realize um, where the mistake was. You would have realized that for whatever reason the app um, on your phone um, or the website just was not showing um, where you had spent that 80 bucks but your records would have showed that the 80 bucks had been spent and where it was. Um, I actually had a bank one time that no longer exists because they got bought out back in around 2002 uh, so over 20 years ago but anyways they had said that they uh, were going that, that I owed them a thousand dollars for charges for things so I went in there with my records sat down with one of the bank people after setting an appointment myself showed him my records, showed them their records, and say, please point to me where I owe you that thousand bucks. They instantly dismissed that thousand bucks, gave me back a thousand dollars, and then, which of course I turn around and close the bank account. But the problem is, is that it's all done electronically now, where back in the day, you actually had people that would watch it at the banks as well. So now it is really on you as the customer, you and I, to use our checking system against their checking system because theirs is just a computer. Like every time you swipe your card, that little chip in your in your credit card or your bank card that you use, that's what sends a signal to uh, your bank that you ha are at whatever bank, I mean, you're at whatever store location and how much that you've spent. So you can, as you know, as well as I do at stores, sometimes those machines don't work right. So it has to be up to you and it has to be up to me, which is in their terms and agreements. Now I am sorry that you had to do this four different times and I am sorry that you did have to pretty much waste all this time. But um, 
next time you go to the bank, whether you stay with your bank or you go with another one, make sure to gap, have them give you as many of the statement checks uh, booklets um, that they give at a time for free, um, as many as they can to you at once, and keep up with it. Uh, usually you can do about 100 checks worth, or 100 um, transactions, if not more. Um, usually 25 per page, and you can get up to three months per booklet. So if you can get three booklets, you can get up almost nearly three-fourths of a year's worth. Um, but, um, yeah, the proper way to check a banking statement is not to go onto their website or just to look at the statement that you receive from your bank and see if the numbers add up. Uh, because if there is a mistake, um, it's usually not noticeable unless you have something else to compare it to. So hopefully this helps you in the future and to anyone else that's watching as well.